So with that, let's talk about trapping. First of all, I'm going to be talking about two uh, different programs. I'll be talking about Deathpack, uh, and then I'll be talking about our pro class. And the next thing is that it's the same trapper in both uh, pieces of software. So if you're unfamiliar, Deathpack is our set of uh, plugins for Illustrator. So when you work in Illustrator, it adds uh, additional windows and additional technology uh, for printing. And so that's our Deathpack plugins. And then Art Pro Plus is our brand new uh, standalone PDF editor. And so I'll be showing a little bit of both of those today. Uh, but the trapping and the trapping technology applies equally to both of them. So uh, I'll be showing some things in one program and other things in another program, uh, but they will um, be synchronized as far as the trapping. So what is new in trapping? Um, today I'll be talking about our new trapping technology. Uh, you may be aware that we have had a uh, trapping technology called Power Trapper, and this has been available in all of our programs. Uh, but we have rebuilt our trapping engine, and we are rolling it out uh, initially in Deathpack and Art Pro Plus. Uh, eventually, it will be rolled out through our um, through the rest of our products, and even into automation engines for automatic trapping. So that's uh, that is on the list of uh, new technology coming out. So the new trapper uh, has something brand new in it. We, uh, we call it an aesthetic trapping engine. And this trapper uh, looks at the entire file and it looks at the, uh, at the traps uh, more from a does it look good uh, standpoint instead of is it technically correct. And I'll show you what that looks like in a moment here. Uh, the previous Power Trapper standalone is now renamed Power Trapper Classic. So if you currently own uh, Power Trapper, then that will migrate uh, in version 18.1.1, I believe, uh, to that will change to Power Trapper Classic, and the um, new Trapper will be available for those on maintenance. Uh, there's a couple of different versions of this Trapper, and I will point that out as we get to it. So let's talk about this trapper. Uh, the classic power trapper uh, is a very good trapping technology, but it did have some, li some limitations. And if you look at these 